Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. I do your reading almost daily and I upload your videos right away. So these messages are current. Today we are going to get you some important love messages. And please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it will not resonate with each and every one of you. And for those of you complaining that you can't hear me, asking me to speak louder, please download an app to boost uh, the volume of your device type in volume booster and you will see many options available one of my subscribers suggested that thank you and i appreciate it and no i can't speak louder i speak however i feel comfortable okay all right chris let's get a reading started spirits and angels please show me important love messages for aquarius today oops these cards fell on the floor i'm gonna take it For the single Aquarius, and it feels like if you're losing hope and faith when it comes to love, the star here in love first, don't. Because <laughs> we've got the Ace of Wands here. That's a new beginning coming in for some of you. And I feel like this new beginning could blossom into something. I don't know yet, but right now what I'm seeing here is that there'll be a lot of interest, um, interest um and attraction yeah for sure and five of wands here isn't love first i feel like it's just trying to say that when you're just about giving up when you're just not really fighting or looking that's when you're gonna meet this person ace of wands hmm. interesting okay that's just for some of you if you are single okay the reason why i said interesting it's because I usually will say, if you want to find love, you need to go find it, right? You need to go out there. Um, but rare cases, it does happen that sometimes we're not looking and then we meet somebody here. Ace of Wands, that could be you, Aquarius, this is your reading. And the star here is you, right? But when it's in love first, again, it feels like for those of you, if you've lost faith and hope in love or in reconciliation is of wants communicate reignition of a passion with somebody from your past right so we got the high priestess here in love first five pentacles and the queen of pentacles in love first some of you just feel like it is just not worth it i've invested so much and i'm being left out in the cold with the five pentacles here unless you could be dealing with somebody who could be feeling that about you about this connection High Priestess in my verse, Priestess, do not ignore your intuition, okay? If somebody tells you that you're paranoid, you're crazy, you're overthinking, it is not true. It's definitely not true because the end result actually proves, proves that it is not true. <laughs> so your intuition most likely is correct. But I feel like there could be somebody trying to make you think or see that you are being... Uh, paranoid or that you're overthinking and that maybe you're accusing them that's just for some of you a small portion of you Chris the sun here indicates yay finally you know uh, the sun is coming up it's coming out and uh, you're gonna feel much happier a sense of positivity some of you if you've been kind of silent or keeping to yourselves and if you do go out I feel like the sun is like just go out I, I I can't see the logic in just constantly being in a, at home and not doing anything, especially if you are single and that you're going to magically meet somebody. The sun, if you look at it, it's like you're out, outside, right? Outdoor. And it's basically saying that as well. But also, you know, the star here, when you think again that why, why is it that you know, things haven't worked out for me, you know, so far. Because Five Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles, I, I did the best that I could. I was committed. That's for some of you, if you're really committed, <laughs> again, roles can be reversed. But I feel like eventually you'll be quite, I wouldn't say surprised, but 
uh, it's a good feeling, right? The sun, it's like such a good feeling in regards to this new connection. Some of you, maybe you have already met this person. If some of you, this person is coming in. And the nine of swords here is the love first. This connection, this new connection, you, you're not going to resonate with it if this person hasn't come in yet, okay? If this person is already in your life uh, and it's new, I feel like you're going to feel like this person is helping you take off your mind from your past, from uh, an ex or exes. And Ace of Cups here in my first, taking your mind off of uh, connections, love connections that didn't didn't um, take off, okay? That's for some of you. Let's see more, Chris. Some of you, Five Pentacles, can get somebody is missing you as well, missing whatever you have given to them, uh, whatever you used to give them, right? They may feel like there's a sense of loss uh, ever since you haven't been in their life, haven't been in the in the picture. I feel like they're coming to realize that because the sun is right next to the high priestess here. Somebody could be realizing that, you know, I'm not that happy without Aquarius or that, again, roles can be reversed, but somebody's realizing that they're, uh, they're not as happy as they thought they would be without you in their life. So, again, there's a sense of, like, something is missing, um, missing a sense of stability within the connection. Someone may be feeling that without you in your life, they could be lost, okay? Or somebody could be feeling like they are lost because you're not in their life right now. And it takes something, perhaps a separation. If there's a separation going on between you and somebody for them to realize that with a son. So someone may be trying to reignite passion with you, right? But the storm of birds, I feel like this is you. You may not accept it or that you may find it really hard to forgive this person and maybe for some of you you just don't want to be a part of this drama don't want to fight um maybe delaying in responding to this offer coming in with the ace of wands here got the queen of wands and one first could be dealing with a fire sign we've got the eight of pentacles six of swords yeah somebody is moving towards you moving towards karma water ever since you stopped paying attention to them you start focusing on them. There are a lot of um, messages that indicate that occurs. Not just for you, for the signs as well. Hmm. And you know what? I've said something. and I don't know. Somebody commented something. Oh, I don't resonate. Blah, blah, blah. Only one person actually has said that. Uh, keep your wrong reading to yourself. And I was like, if you don't resonate with my readings, that means your energy is not aligned to mine okay um if you're not aligned to my energy then unsubscribe and obviously i do readings every single day and you're not gonna resonate with it every single day and it's not gonna be like accurate from the beginning to the end it's a general reading after all just bear that in mind that some people are just not that bright you know what i mean <laughs> but we've got the ten of swords in one verse five cups in one verse and we've also got the two of pentacles in one verse a choice will be made to try and end the conflict here because somebody feels handicapped or not as good as in something is missing, um, can't really function or can't really function um, the, the way they used to when you were there, okay? That's what I'm getting for some of you. And tell us also in reverse any case, you know, releasing something from your past, releasing hurt, the hurt and pain. Some of you, if you are consciously releasing somebody from your past and you're not paying attention to them, that's a, a good outcome with the sun here. Um, something good is coming your way, right? The sun, again, it indicates positivity, happiness, and a new beginning will happen with it. Uh, with Ace of Wands here. Somebody, I feel, you're going to feel so excited. Uh, you're going to feel really happy. 
I don't know how it's gonna transpire between the two of you. Right now, it's not really showing uh, with these cards here. They're not showing like, oh, is this gonna be... If this connection is gonna be a long-lasting one, I can't see that yet. But it's definitely a very positive uh, connection and you're gonna be very, very happy. It could grow into something. Yeah, because the Ace ones can indicate growth as well. These little leaves are growing out of this 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 uh wand here five of cups here is in one first and we've got the two of pentacles in one first some of you maybe you're trying to see the positives rather than the negative you know uh if this is not what you're doing spirit is definitely encouraging you to do so um think of the positive rather than the negative and move away from the past move on because it looks like with the ace of ones in the sun if you're looking for a new connection there is a chance for that in happening but first and foremost it feels like you need to walk away or energetically cut somebody off from your past let's see more could be physically or energetically okay not a cups here is in love first ace of swords yeah a lot of you may have cut this person off five of swords here not a cups in love first <laughs> it feels like if you've been dealing for those aquarius dealing with somebody um, plays mind games deceptive in some way shape or form spirit says cut this person off you're never ever gonna with the nine of cups you're gonna feel fulfilled with this person until they change but who knows who is waiting right we shouldn't wait for anybody aquarius and i always talk about this right um, a lot of fish is in the sea and it is true but we always try to hang on because of memories, you know, memories. We tend to hang on to the past because of memories. But Spirit says to be strong, okay, to be confident. For those of you, yeah, I'm not saying all of you are like that. <laughs> I, I can already foresee somebody, oh, I already cut this person off. Uh, who says I didn't move on? Oh, so annoying. But unless, if, if that's not what you're doing right now, Spirit is definitely encouraging you to do so. But if you're already doing that, it's a good thing. I feel like the sun, the ace of wands again, indicates a good outcome from you cutting somebody off from the past. But it feels like this person may try to return though and may act like they are suffering for pentacles here, like they need you. But I feel like the choice is definitely yours, right? If you want to heal this connection or not, but I feel like you're not gonna you're not gonna rush into it. I feel a lot of you are seeking for your happiness or being with somebody whom is gonna make you happy and not have to let you go through you know a sense of hurt, disappointments and playing mind games. Who needs that, right, Aquarius? This is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm gonna leave you with two playlists on the screen right now. These playlists are from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. No, the first one. <laughs> it says Asia. It's from my second channel, travel vlog channel. Check it out if you want to. And also, I'll leave you with another playlist on the screen. It says bonus compilation reading. You can click on it, scroll the way down, look for your sign. There'll be some other important messages for you over there. And these readings are still valid, still new. Because as you guys know, I post your videos almost every single day. And Aquarius, I am open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Take care.